Ignition interlock systems make sure a driver's car will not even start if they've been drinking. They blow into the device as an instant breathalyzer. But here in Maryland, being put on probation to avoid a conviction for drunk driving does not guarantee that the driver will have to pay to install a interlock device. It's an outrage to parents like Pamela Lindbergh, whose son Kenny Watkins was killed in a drunk driving wreck in 2022. And so they could drive for years, you know, um, and not be charged, but still be drinking while driving. And they basically have blood on their hands. Rich Liotta is sharply critical of Maryland legislators who have failed for six years to close the loophole. Leota's son, Montgomery County Police Officer Noah Leota, was killed by a drunk driver in 2015, and subsequent drunk driving reforms in Maryland are called Noah's Law, which Noah's dad says need fixing. And we give them the answers in writing, verbally, and they don't seem to do it. So either they get on board and save lives, or they are against the community. That's what this is all about, saving lives. In hearings today, Leota, victims and prosecutors said 67% of drunk drivers in Maryland are not required to get the ignition interlocks because judges give them a chance to complete probation to avoid a conviction. That's called probation before judgment, or PBJ. It's a glaring loophole that's allowed at least 36,000 people arrested for DUI in Maryland to keep on driving without the ignition interlock devices, witnesses said. In today's hearings, St. Mary's County State's attorney, Jamie Sterling, said probation before judgment sends a message that drunk driving remains socially acceptable. The least legislators can do, she says, is require ignition interlocks on the cars of people doing PBJ. In Maryland, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.